just like a train. Illuminati trying to read my mind with an eagle eye. And the haze got me thinking why. So this is episode one of podcasting in random locations. Today we are in my my go-to nature spot near my house. I think we're going to be climbing a tree because I don't know if anyone's ever done a podcast from a tree. It's either this one right here or one over there. I think we're going to try that one, see what's up with one hand. This is the type of shit I do. This is kind of legit. Where's my other glove? Fuck! I left my other glove. Alright, fuck it. Gloves are for pussies. Okay, so we made it to our location. We are in a tree. There's a good view from up here. Maybe I should... Maybe I should show you the view. There's like a mansion over there. I don't know if you can tell how far the drop is, but that's at least 50 feet on this broken branch. But this is where we're at. Okay. So podcast number one. Um, I guess we'll start with my name's Andy from the most boring town, most bland town I can think of in New Jersey. Um, basically the only thing here is townhouses. It's just really gray place to live, which is kind of why I want to get out of here as soon as I can. And I'm basically going to keep posting on this YouTube channel because nine to fives, what they have us stuck in, that's not the way to go. And I just feel like YouTube would be the best job there is. I'm up in a tree. I like to climb trees. I like nature. I've recently got into spirituality. When you're going through your uh, your spiritual journey or awakening, it could feel like you're crazy. And having people to understand and, and know what you're talking about really is, is one of the biggest things I'm thankful for. I see a guy. I see a guy and a dog, or is it a woman, or is it a woman? The guy, the guy, the guy is coming, the guy is coming. I didn't bring a weapon. He's like creeping around the woods. I don't know what he's doing, he's like rolling around the dirt. Him and his dog. I don't know if this is like a bonding experience for them, but... I am trying to record a podcast in a tree. Oh, wait. Wait, the guy and his dog is... The guy and his dog are right there. What the... What the fuck is that then? We have to go investigate the situation. Let's... Don't even tell me they were birds. Don't even tell me I'm skitzing over birds right now. They sound like a fucking bear. Oh my god, it's just birds. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I'm a pussy. I'm a fucking pussy. I don't know what happened there. But... I don't know, it doesn't look good. Oh, these? A little, um, backstory on this location. Maybe I shouldn't stay here after dark too so late because we've, we've almost been killed here multiple times. And I'll explain, I'll explain once we get up in the tree. Okay, we're back in the tree. Let's continue the story about how we almost got killed in these these very woods multiple times so we know of a homeless guy that lives around our area his name is his name is sal 
and I know his name because I had a neighbor. I don't know if they were related to him, but they, they, they just knew his name. So his name is Sal. He lives around here, which is which is an awful place to be homeless. There's literally, I don't know, nothing around here. It's cold as shit right now. I don't know what he does out here, but he's homeless. And he had a setup farther up. You have to walk down this, this path to get to where I'm at right now. And at the beginning of the path, there's like a little, there's a little like setup with like a tarp in the trees. There's a car there. So apparently he had a, he had a car. But he had a little camp set up, and we saw it one time when we were walking down here. And we were walking down, we walked past, we saw it, we didn't think anything of it. And we're fucking around down here, chilling in the woods. Um, and then, and then once it got dark, it, it got like pitch black. It, there was nothing until it got pitch black, and then we see headlights of the, of the Jeep he has over there. They turn on. We see it through the woods because it's pitch black at this point. And we're like, we're like, what the fuck? Why did he just turn them on now? And then he starts driving down the path that we walk down. He starts driving down. And we, we start skitzing out because we're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's coming, he's coming. He gets a little bit past us. And then he cuts his, he cuts his headlights. So that was when we started freaking the fuck out. He cut his headlights and... We see him, another light turns on, but it's a flashlight, and he starts scanning the woods. We were talking on the way down, so he knew we were down here. We're like, oh, fuck. Like, he's actually looking for us. Like, this guy's trying to fucking kill us. We're, we're about, we're packing up our shit. We're about to walk back. And then, and then we see him turn around, and then he starts, he starts bolting it. And we're in the woods. We're in the woods down here in the tree line, and he whips it around, like, literally, literally, probably 10 feet from us he drives right past us i know we were we were avoiding the headlights because he was just like scanning the woods and and um he makes it past us and we're like all right we gotta go we gotta go because he he came around this side and so we went back this way to hit the trail and so we start running we start running we're like all right we gotta go he's coming he's literally trying to get us so we're running we're running we're running and then uh nate's like my friend nate my buddy nate he <laughs> He touches his pockets and he's like, bro, my jeans. And we're like, are you fucking kidding me? We're all panicked. We're all out of breath from running. And he says, my keys. Where are my keys? In a panic, we were like, oh my God, what do we do? Do we, do we go back for the keys or we come back from later? And originally we were like, all right, we'll just come back from later. But then we thought about like actually coming back later would be scary as fuck. So we were like, all right, we just got to go find them. We turn around. We start running back, and this whole time, he's pitched up on this hill that I'm on right now. He's on the hill, and he has his headlights on, and he's just sitting there. So we're like, all right, we got to get out now. So we start, so as we're walking back to get Nate's keys, uh, we find him. We find him on the sand, just in the sand, so lucky. And then at, right as we find the keys, we see him start coming back down this hill, and then he starts going, he starts coming towards us as we're running away. So we're like, oh my God, we got to fucking run. So we're dipping, we're dipping, we're dipping. We get through the woods and then we finally, we finally made it back to the street. And we finally made it out. But to this day, like I'm, I'm 90% sure that guy was actually trying to kill us. And we're not 100% sure it was the homeless guy, but like who else would have a camp out here? He used to live in my backyard. So if he's a murderer... Um, if I ever go missing, it's, it's either two things. It's Sal the homeless man or the government. So now that I have that documented, I feel a little bit comfortable, but yeah, he used to live in a tent, like in my bed. I have like a big backyard with like wooded area behind it. And I don't know if it's technically my property, but he used to live in a tent back there. But like my parents like had to tell him to leave because it was a little uncomfortable having a homeless man in our backyard, basically. So we told him to leave and maybe, maybe ever since that day, he's had like a personal vendetta against me. Who fucking knows? But uh, I hope that's not his shirt hanging from that tree because if we're still in his, his old stomping grounds, if he shows himself, we're, we're pretty fucked here. Um, I don't have much. I mean, I guess I could use the fork, but besides that, weapons are scarce. But yeah, that's the little homeless story. I don't know why I keep coming here. 
it's like it's right by my house so it's convenient to get nature here because you always need to get your nature but um I don't know if something bad was to happen to me it was probably be in these woods oh I actually I actually wanted to make a documentary with Sal the homeless man I feel like that would be pretty cool see what he does on a daily basis see if he, see if he has any good stories um but I just hope he, He's not the same guy that's trying to kill me. Like if I walk up to him and he shanks me in the in the gut, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be sad. They're all covered with filthy germs, aren't they, Smithers? Why? What do you mean, sir? Freemasons run the country. Ugh. Let me let me talk about the Freemasons. A Freemason is nowadays, like in modern day America, a lot of the Freemasons are. They don't know what they're getting into, and it's and it's basically like a union worker, like that kind of person would be a, a, a mason. And that doesn't mean all masons are bad, because 99%, probably 99.9% .9 of them do nothing, and they're just like, it's just like a, a, a frat, a fraternity, but there's ranks in, uh, in Freemasonry. Freemasonry goes up to the 33rd degree. And once you get to the, th like, getting to the 33rd degree, you have to do some fucked up shit. You can do your own research. I don't know anything to be true. I just know what I believe from what I've looked up, what I've researched, what I believe in. I believe in what feels right and sounds right to me, but I don't know. I'm not saying any of this is facts, but there's, there's a lot of evidence for it. Adrenochrome. Yeah, Freemasons, 33rd degree. They're into that adrenochrome shit. They'll suck the blood out of a child after torturing it and get high on it. That's a drug. And most most Masons, they don't even know they don't even know anything about that. The system is run by these these horrible people. Think about it. The people when we came here and took this land from the Native Americans, we slaughtered them. We killed all their. I, I saw this thing that we Americans killed. I mean, like Christopher Columbus and his gang and shit. They came over. They killed millions and millions of buffalo they killed it all so they would have to rely on the government on the american government for their food so they basically forced them they came here we stole all their land we it was a mass genocide we killed all of them we forced them to either be a part of the system or die and do you think those people those families are just gone like the richest families and if you're the richest family in 1800s like the the oil companies and the bank the people that own the banks the rothschilds the the rockefellers like those type of uh, known families do you think if they're the richest families in 1800s do you think they're just going to go away do you think they just go away no they don't they're still here and they still run shit today they don't run shit on on national tv they're not on the news they're behind the scenes pulling the strings and not a lot of people know about it the news is a bunch of bullshit biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media, media. more alarming some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their, their platforms to push their, their own personal, personal bias and agenda to control exactly, exactly what people think. think. And this, and this is, is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 90% of news is owned by six companies. And so they can basically tell us whatever they want to tell, want us to believe, and the mass will believe it. Like anybody that watches the news, it controls how they think like you know when um back in early er, in 2020 when the riots were happening after it was all corona on the news for like months and months and months and then uh the riots started happening and then corona disappeared corona wasn't a topic anymore for those like like two weeks to a month corona didn't exist nobody talked about it everybody only talked about the the riots so it pretty much just shows how how the news controls how the masses think but i don't fuck with the news the system is corrupt and i want to get out i don't want to have to rely on my nine to five job I, I can't picture me working that the rest of my life i would much rather make videos for a living just recording what i do and entertaining other people that seems much better than working a nine to five job they indoctrinate us from school to believe that after high school is college 
you go to college, then you get a job, then you start a family, have babies, retire, go on vacation, then you die. And I've never seen that as appealing. I don't know why so many people do. First of all, create the same exact person in school. It's just like a factory of just little egos being created in school. And then send us off to college. We have to pay thousands and th thousands of dollars to go to college. And so we're in debt to college. And then we get our job. We have to work for another boss telling us what to do every day on some shit that we probably don't actually care about. Like most jobs, we don't give a fuck about what we're doing. We're just doing it for money. College is is one big scam. You get out of high school when you're 17, 18, 19. You go to college for two, four, six, eight, ten years of your life. So so you're 25 and you're at you're starting your your career job. You wasted your best years in college learning a bunch of bullshit you don't care about to get a job that you don't care about and you have to pay thousands of thousands of dollars. I just can't get behind the idea of going to a nine to five job five days a week and then getting your two days of freedom which they ideally want you to take your Saturday to drink alcohol which is poison get fucked up don't remember a thing and then Sunday spend your Sunday sick and hung over and in bed all day and then Monday start the week over and do it all over again a lot of adults these days are they're just okay with living that kind of lifestyle of slavery for five days, one day of freedom. I'm not a fan of the system. Sun's going down, sunset. Everybody, watch the sunset every day. Watching the sunset is a great way to heal yourself. There's a guy. There's like little gerbs over there. There's little gerbers. I see gerbers. I see gerbers. They stopped. Man, this is some bill shit. I didn't I didn't realize how many people came to this place. Don't walk up here. Don't walk up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't walk up here. Okay, we are going to take a weed break. We're gonna change locations. This is how I get around most places. I ride this baby. This is my baby. So if anybody knows me that's watching this. Oof. If anybody that knows me is watching this and sees me on this bad boy riding around town, say what's up. You don't know what this is. This is a one hitter. I recommend everybody getting it. It's a box. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You get the gist. It's pretty much a dad pen for w real weed. Hopefully the sunset is busting today. I don't want to get cancer from this thing. Kind of radiating shit, killing the earth. Moss? Moss is like nature's carpet. I want to have moss like in my front, in my living room one day. No. No. Oh no. Are you dead ass? Where'd the one hitter go? Guys, 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 guys. Lacking high from high. Where is it at? Everything happens for a reason. I would really recommend you guys trying to learn how to use like weed in a spiritual, positive way. Like a productive way. Is this still considered a podcast? <laughs> I mean, I'm talking to a camera. But I think it turned more into like a vlog. But vlogs are fun. So, I'm gonna call it a podcast, but I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Here's this thing that I found somebody that did it. Somebody did this, and I'm showing you. Saturn. You know what's fun thing you can do? See how many, see how many logos and brands have Saturn on their on their logo just makes you think like why are they all using Saturn as their logo
Is it just a coincidence? I don't know. There's too many coincidences for everything to just be a coincidence. That's what they always blame it on. Oh no, it's just a coincidence. Or they're like channeling energy from Saturn or some shit. I think, I think there's more over here. Third eye vision is broke. I feel like you can be really creative if you just come out here by yourself and observe your, your thinking. Being in nature is a form of meditation. You know what? I could just ride my bike to anywhere. Wait, where'd I leave the bike? Oh fuck! You guys just witnessed me getting jump scared by nothing. My skids. Alright, I made it to the road. Nobody took me out. The sun is setting and I'm busting across the street. Right in front of the car. Ah. We have a history with this place. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Gallery Pizza. Fuck that place.